Well, welcome back to Ottoman Asia Cambodian style. Uh, today I'm going to do something that I've been meaning to do for a long time. Um, I've never, I don't, I don't think I've ever done it other than on a live. And I'm going to do a question and answer about, um, you know, about Cambodia in general, uh, Siem Reap. And uh, most of that commentary is going to be from the comments that you guys left me and gals, of course. Um, and I just, before I begin, I want to say thank everybody. I mean, I just blew up since I came back uh, to uh, Siem Reap. I had some really nice videos that, well, I mean, you guys thought they were great because, uh, as, you know, as small as my channel is, I, I had some uh, some videos that, to me, went viral. <laughs> I want to thank each and every one of you. Uh, so I'm just going to start. I'm going to start from uh, the, the latest, two hours ago or whatever, and then just go down uh, the list and uh, as, uh, you know, some of the... the the comments, okay, and I'm not going to say a whole bunch of names and stuff of who did it, but uh, but here we go. Um, now the first one is how did I find this apartment? Because that so far I've gotten twenty thousand hits on that, twenty thousand views on that one. So we'll start with that. Um, well, I went through IPS, uh, it's a, like an apartment finder, um, and like um, you know a lot of people say, well then you're going to pay extra money, blah blah blah. Well, yes and maybe no. Um, even if you do the price point of this $300 apartment that I have, two bedroom, very beautiful. I got a lot of room here, very nice. Um, check out the video. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, I mean, even if they do up the couple of percentage, it's worth it. Let me tell you, walking around and driving around, <clears throat> it's 100 and 105 degrees, hitting and missing on looking at apartments. Um, some of them are good, some of them are bad. Uh, it's really, really hot. Um, sometimes you don't really get to see a whole bunch of photos uh, before. Um, and also sometimes they, uh, uh, a language barrier, you know, it's just, to me, it's worth going with IPS. I've, I've went through IPS uh, three times now. I recommend, you know, it doesn't have to be IPS, but, you know, uh, an apartment finder. Um, uh, okay, and then uh, along with this one, um, the, the person asked me, uh, how much are my taxes in Cambodia? I don't know. I, I don't work here, so I don't pay taxes. Uh, my Social Security uh, doesn't really count. Um, so, you know, I mean, I still pay taxes in the United States on that, but I really don't because I don't. <laughs> you know, that's how the Social Security is, unless I make a whole bunch of money. I wish I could pay taxes, make a whole bunch of money. Um, and then uh, here's another question that a lot of people have asked me. Um, uh, you know, how did you get your long-term visa and how, uh, how long did it take? Well, there's been a lot of videos on that. Not so much by me, but like from uh, uh, Dave Does Cambodia. He does a lot of those visa. Check them out. Um, but you, if you're going to stay here for a while, first of all, I, I, disclaimer on this, okay? I will give you some information that I think is correct, Okay. Uh, but but you should always um, do your own due diligence if you're going to pull the trigger and come on over here for a long long time. Um, uh, I you know everybody recommends you come over here not just for a two week vacation and say oh yeah I like it here. Of course you're going to like it here on a two week vacation. Try to come here and stick around for about three months and see if you really really enjoy it. Um, you know boots on the ground type thing. Um, but anyways, uh, real quick, uh, from what I know, uh, for the last uh, couple of times that I've had to get a long-term visa here, is you come here not on a uh, tourist visa. You, you go under an e-visa, not the electronic visa that you do beforehand, which you're going to have to start doing here in a month or two, uh, but it's the extended visa or the other visa. But you don't want to do a, a, a T or a, a, a tourist uh, because you're going to have to leave the country, come back, and do it all over again. Uh, once you're here for about uh, two weeks or so, you go to a travel agency, agency or whatever, or you can, if you're down in Phnom Penh, you can do it yourself, save $10. Uh, but you just give them uh, some information, very easy information. Uh, they just want your, uh, uh, your passport, and uh, they'll ask you, uh, your, res you know, you know, your, your, uh, your address. And, um, I mean, they don't ask you for, you know, how much you make or you know, anything like that. And then... Uh, sign some, some papers and put your thumbprint on it and then they send it to Phnom Penh 
and in about 10 days they send it back to you and you've got uh, a 12 month visa or six month, whatever, you know, or a three month uh, extended uh, visa. Um, now like the 12 month visa is gonna run you $280 and then usually the, the agency will, will charge you uh, an additional uh, $10 for their doing the service for you, okay? Um, so that's, I mean, do your own due diligence on that, make sure you know what you're doing because the number one thing is don't come in under a tourist visa because you're going to have to make a border run, come back, pain in the butt. This is a question I've, I've had many, many times on the last couple of days is, uh, you know, how far am I away from Pub Street? Um, well, everything <laughs> when you go to these services or uh, online or um, uh, 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 Facebook uh, marketplace, everything it seems in, Cam in, in Siem Reap is five minutes away from Pub Street, <laughs> whatever. Um, but yeah, no, by, by motorbike, um, yeah, it's about, uh, about, um, about five minutes, maybe less and walking. I don't know. I haven't walked it from here. Uh, but, uh, that would probably be under, um, under 30 minutes. I don't depend on how, how, uh, how fast you walk. What will you do in a health emergency? Now I did a couple of videos on that one too. Um, and this is, um, a lot of videos were made on this also, and I mentioned this, um, the two videos that I made about the hospitals. I, I don't have health insurance. I have a, a special uh, 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 savings account that I use for emergencies only. Um, it, 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 it's a gamble. It, it can be cheaper. Like, uh, like when I spent three and, a half, uh, three and a half days in the hospital, I had to check out that, that video. Uh, it was, uh, compared to like United States, it was just a drop in the bucket. Um, you know, other people, um, you know, and the older that you get, the harder it is to get um, insurance. And uh, there's been a lot of um, horror stories about trying to, uh, okay, you're going to pay up front anyways, then you got to go through your, your um, insurance company and uh, try to get money from an insurance company. The number one thing they want to do is not pay out any money. So that's up to you. Do your due diligence on that one. Do a lot of rece research on that, uh, what you're comfortable with. So, um, but personally, myself, I don't. Some people do. Some, you know. So, uh, what do we got here? Uh, somebody just mentioned uh, an apartment in L.A. would cost about three and a half thousand dollars like this. That's probably true. About eating healthier here. I mentioned that in, uh, I think my walkie-talkie I just did. Um, yeah. I mean, when I went back to the United States for five weeks and visited, um, I started getting sick again. And, um, uh, you know, it, it was just all that processed foods that, uh, that they have there. And, yeah, it was good. It was nice going to Arby's and get a oh, frickin' roast beef sandwich and uh, things like that. And, uh, you know, Stouffer's lasagna. Uh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, everything here is so, so, uh, so fresh. I mean, we have, you know, mango and papaya just growing up. Grandma comes over and gives us fresh fruit, b banana. Um, it, it's it's uh, it's really really fresh, and so is the uh, the, the the meats. Um, and that's that's another uh, another discussion I'll probably get into here in, in just a little bit. But yeah, going going to the wet market uh, and getting uh, uh, your foods there um, so so much healthier. Uh, here here's one from Larry, good buddy of mine. Um, uh, you know, I said talking about, this was about the market video I did and, uh, yeah, it was really crowded. Uh, and, and yeah, you can say it's unsanitary, uh, you know, depending on what country you're from. Yes or no. Um, but if you're from the United States, you're basically going, uh, uh yeah, it is kind of spendy, uh, or, or unsanitary. Excuse me. My computer's doing funny things here. Hang on. And yeah, like, like anything, you know, your body's going to have to get accustomed to, um, certain foods here um, that's why I say you know coming here just for two weeks and and you know, eating at the finest restaurants and, and Burger King and stuff you know you're not going to experience a lot of the things uh, that that if you're going to be here for a longer um, and because a lot of us from the Western uh, countries are uh, so sanitary we don't have our body's not you know used to eating uh, uh, like the, like the meats and stuff. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever really gotten sick on the meats. Uh, the last time I got really sick, it was from a uh, uh, from a uh, yeah from a an Italian restaurant. So <laughs> yeah, it's one of the better ones in town too. 
Uh, yeah, somebody asked me they thought that I really liked the last place I was in, and and, and I did. And no, they didn't. They didn't up the rent or nothing. Uh, <clears throat> I, I didn't know exactly how long I was going to be gone, and uh, uh, so I just let that place go. And they're they're filled because they. I mean, it's a really nice place, and everybody saw my videos, and they they want to live there, you know. Uh, so no, I I needed a larger place. I needed a two bedroom. Uh, I have grown, so that's why. A couple of questions on the rooftop, the new place. Yeah, it's just a communal rooftop, just like the last place I was, I was at. And the monthly rate, a lot of people didn't catch that. I don't think I said it. I think I put it up on a little, you know, $300 a month plus utilities, decent price. Yeah, somebody was asking me uh, about plane tickets, and that's, that's a whole other video that I've been thinking about making. Uh, but I'll, I'll skip that part. But... Um, uh, in addition, uh, they're, they're asking about hotels and stuff that are within walking distance to uh, major banks, grocery stores, etc. Close, not too close to Pub Street. I mean, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. You just, uh, my suggestion is to go on uh, Google Maps and uh, punch in apartments or, or hotels or whatever and take a look at it. And it, it really depends on your price point. Um, I would say anything on a river is really nice, but a little bit spendy, but you can go from fifteen dollars a night to fifteen hundred dollars a night uh here's one uh from somebody from uh, australia and, and they were talking about something that i'd mentioned in in, in my walkie talkie that one recently did and um uh the, but the hardest uh, thing that there was no life on the streets houses pretty gardens i guess the people inside uh somewhere but uh, but no people uh, on the streets no dogs no cats very sanitized and just felt dead and weird and that is absolutely correct when I went back to us uh, to, to, to Tucson uh, it's a community out in the desert and it's just uh, I mean I, I drove uh, I was leaving going down store or something and I went about a kilometer and a half a mile or whatever before I even saw anybody walking down the street and I was going through a whole bunch of residential area and it was just it's just, like I said, um, a whole bunch of nothing, you know, and I really miss the, the sights and sounds of uh, the vibrancy of, of, of Siem Reap in Cambodia uh, in, in general. Um, oh, yeah, here's a, a nice find, talking about the apartments. Um, are the higher apartments cheaper? Uh, yeah, I mean, you kind of like think so, but actually they're not. Not, not the three that I've, I've lived in. Um, they seem to be all the same price no matter what, what floor you're, you're on. Uh, actually, it would be nice to be up on the third floor with nice windows and stuff. You need a nice breeze. It's one thing I liked about the last place, fourth floor. It was great. Uh, American food is either too uh, salty or too sweet compared to foods around the world. And that's true. It, it was so much sodium in when I went back, and I think that was one thing that was starting to really bother my, my, my stomach and all that. It's just, of course, everything has... You look at the label, and there's like beef water and then like a whole bunch of stuff that you can't even pronounce oh yeah internet internet well the internet is is uh, good here uh it's better here than some places i've had in the united states uh but uh, you know every once in a while it will go off for uh you know for you know 10 15 minutes or be really slow uh recently it's been slow during the Khmer new year because a whole bunch of people come into town uh, visiting uh, their relatives and um, everybody's online and it, it, it's, it's slowed down. But generally, uh, I, I've never had much trouble with it at all. Oh, yeah, somebody asked me, um, uh, did I have to sign a one-year lease on here for $300 a month? No, I, I only signed a, a six-month and um, I'll probably end up signing another uh, <laughs> for six months. I uh, just found your channel. Both of us sub subscribe. Thank you, Tony Murphy, and I will mention that. Tony, uh, here's here's one that I've talked to my daughter about uh, about bringing my grand my grandchildren over here uh, you know, school vacation. I would love to do that. I would love to. It would give them a, a new perspective uh, on life. I know it would. Um, they would realize how how nice they have it. Um, uh, how long do I plan to stay here? Well, I'll, I will uh, stay here for oh, at least a year now, and then go back and visit, and then just come back. I plan to live my life here now. It says, uh, Cambodia limits the time you can stay, doesn't it? I said, no, it doesn't. Uh, as long as you keep on renewing your visa every year, um, you can renew it as many times as you want. Uh, unlike such as uh, uh, the Philippines, uh, you can renew it 
yearly, uh, up until three years, I think. Don't quote me on this, but then after that, you got to leave and then come back and start all over again. Uh, I think Cambodia is one of the easiest uh, countries to get uh, long-term uh, visas or even in any visa. Is Cambodia better than the Philippines? I have stayed in the Philippines a bit in the past. And, um, you know, I can't say if one place is better than the other. Is Thailand better than Cambodia? I can just say why I chose uh, you know, Cambodia as, as opposed to any other country. But um, what, what you need to do is uh, put your boots on the ground, check it out. Thanks for the video. What about internet, phone, uh, health insurance, doctor's visits? I kind of covered that with the health insurance, doctor's visit. Check out the video. Um, and the phone, you just, um, you know, you just get your little, little SIM card and put it in. Uh, I think I use a lot of video. I mean, I use a lot of data on my phone because when I'm out and about, I'm not got my internet here. Uh, but um, uh, but six six dollars a month will get you, you know, a whole bunch of a whole bunch of uh, uh, data and uh, and I, I don't know many people who actually make phone calls back to the states. I mean nowadays you can just you know you can talk to them on uh, you know a messenger and stuff for free if you got internet. So utilities uh, and, and use uh, of AC. Um, I think my my utilities here are going to be around uh, fifty dollars, um, probably less. I, I don't use the AC um, today. I really wanted to because it was really hot, but I've got some really big fans, and I got another floor fan fan in each room. They're about freaking meter wide, and for me personally, oops, for me personally, uh, it's just a, uh, a a preference. I can I can uh, as long as I get a breeze, whether it's from outside or from a fan, I'm okay, but I know other people, um, you know, have, uh, you know, larger people and stuff, they just, they, they need that air con. It's kind of like a, a medical thing, which uh, costs you a little bit extra on, on your, um, uh, on your electricity. Uh, somebody said that uh, they looked at my video of the apartment and says it gives them a, a, a spooky feeling and uh, not secure. Uh, I don't know. I'm back. I had to edit the dogs out on something. Anyways, um, yeah, like all the windows here uh, have bars on them. Um, yeah, they have a, a locked gate in the evening, uh, and uh, the owners live on site. And we have C uh, CCTV uh, on the property, so crime rate here in Cambodia is much, much lower than probably anywhere in the United States in a lot of ways. Um, how close uh, am I to restaurants and markets? A five-minute walk to the market. And our restaurants, there's restaurants just about on every corner. I mean, are you talking about Khmer restaurants or, you know, Burger King or whatever? Um, they're, they're all over the place. Not the Burger Kings, but, you know, regular restaurants, Khmer West restaurants. Oh, yeah, somebody mentioned about the wooden chairs need some cushion, definitely. Um, yeah, the, 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 they're, they're hardwood, and, uh, yeah, they're, they're kind of uncomfortable, but they'll last like about, you know, 500 years. <laughs> For the uh, for the old the old timers that have been on uh, my channel, you know what's going to happen next. Um, if you're still here, you are my number one fans. Have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.